there is a traveler, Voyager 2. It left Earth in 1977 carrying a golden record, a message in a bottle cast into the cosmic ocean. Voyager 2 was built to explore, to see beyond our world. Today, August 3rd, 2025, it's still flying over 12 billion miles from the sun. Light from our star takes more than 18 hours to reach it. It gave us our first close-up look at Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. Now it travels the space between the stars, a silent messenger carrying our dreams into the unknown. It is a lonely traveller, but not forgotten. We are still listening, and its journey is far from over. Imagine a place of profound emptiness, interstellar space. This is where Voyager 2 now travels between the stars. Here there is no air, no weather, only a vast cold vacuum. The sun is just a distant point of light, offering little warmth. The darkness is absolute, deeper than any night on Earth. Silence reigns, sound cannot travel in this void. Only the hums and clicks of Voyager's aging machinery break the stillness. For decades, it has flown through this solitude, a tiny speck of human ingenuity adrift in an endless sea. Yet this space is not entirely empty. It's filled with a thin soup of particles, the interstellar medium, dust and gas from ancient stars drifting through the galaxy. Scientists once believed this cosmic wind was steady and predictable. For years, Voyager 2 reported just that, a calm, thin plasma, a predictable environment. It had crossed the heliopause, the edge of our sun's influence, into a realm governed by the galaxy itself. This new realm seemed calm, steady, and unchanging. Voyager 2's journey was a testament to endurance in the face of nothingness. But the universe is never as simple as we imagine. Even in emptiness, there are mysteries waiting to be found. Voyager 2's instruments measured the calm after the storm of leaving our solar system. The spacecraft had entered a new chapter, one that would soon defy expectations. The interstellar medium, once thought to be uniform, was about to reveal its secrets. Voyager 2 was about to encounter the unexpected, and the silence of the void would soon be broken. Voyager 2's faint signal, captured by the Deep Space Network, travelled billions of miles with less power than a wristwatch battery. For years, the universe seemed calm, Routine data, steady readings, a tranquil cosmic ocean. Then a subtle flicker in the data. A number higher than expected. Scientists checked everything. The anomaly was real. Plasma density readings began to climb. The silence of the void was broken. Voyager 2 had found something unexpected. A new chapter was beginning. The universe had more to say, and Voyager 2 was listening. The change was unmistakable. The density around Voyager 2 was rising sharply. It was as if the spacecraft had flown from a calm sea into a thick fog of plasma. This was completely unexpected. The interstellar medium should be uniform, a thin mist stretching for light years. There were no stars or nebulas nearby. Nothing to explain this sudden increase. Voyager 2 had entered a new region of space, fundamentally different from the one it had just left. This was the impossible encounter. A sharp edge, a clear boundary, a wall of plasma in the middle of nowhere. Our science said such structures shouldn't exist. The discovery was profound. Not a new planet or star, but a revelation about the fabric of space itself. The interstellar medium is not a placid ocean. It's a complex, dynamic environment with currents and structures. Voyager 2 had stumbled upon one of its features for the first time. This whisper from the edge of the galaxy would change everything we thought we knew. The data kept coming, and the mystery deepened. The universe was more intricate than our models predicted. Voyager 2 had found a boundary that defied explanation. It was a discovery that would challenge our understanding for years to come. The void was not empty. It was alive with hidden architecture. 
and Voyager 2 was the first to reveal it. The impossible had become real. Science had a new frontier to explore. The universe had spoken, and Voyager 2 had listened. Our silent messenger had changed the story of space forever, and the journey was far from over. The scientists were stunned, a genuine mystery from 12 billion miles away. They checked every possible error, but the data was real. The universe was not behaving as expected. Disbelief gave way to awe. They were witnessing something truly new. Theories flew, a supernova remnant, a magnetic structure, but nothing fit perfectly. The encounter forced a rethink of the galaxy itself. The interstellar medium was not a passive backdrop, it was alive with invisible architecture. Voyager 2 had found evidence that the galaxy is far more complex than we ever knew. The cosmic puzzle had just become much more interesting. This discovery changes our perspective. Space is not a static container, it's alive and dynamic even in its emptiest regions. The galaxy is an intricate system with cosmic weather, winds and fronts. Voyager 2 crossed one of these boundaries, revealing a universe with a pulse. These structures could influence the birth of stars, guide the flow of gas and shape the galaxy's evolution. We are just beginning to understand this larger system. The map of our galaxy is incomplete and wonders remain hidden in the dark. The universe is full of surprises, and our knowledge is incomplete. Voyager 2 has brought us not answers, but beautiful, awe-inspiring questions. The void is alive, and we are only starting to listen. The journey of discovery has just begun. Every discovery leads to greater questions. What is this structure made of? What is its origin? Is it a galactic feature or something from our own sun? What is its size and shape? Is it a wall, a filament, a bubble? To map it, we need more probes, an entire fleet of voyagers. Why is it there? What laws govern its creation? This hints at new physics, new principles of cosmic organization. The universe operates on scales far beyond our experience, with rules stranger than we can imagine. These questions fuel future exploration and inspire new missions. The universe is not a closed book. It's a story still being written. And Voyager 2 has given us a new, astonishing page. Voyager 2 gives us perspective. Our world, a pale blue dot in a vast, mysterious ocean. We are not the center. We are islanders in a cosmic sea. The ocean is larger and stranger than we thought, with currents and structures unknown. Voyager 2 is still in the shallow waters. The true depths remain unexplored. This should inspire wonder, not insignificance. We are defined by curiosity, driven to explore the darkness. We are students, not masters. The universe is our teacher. It has given us a lesson in humility and wonder. Our journey has only just begun. The universe is more beautiful and complex than we imagined. We live on a fragile island surrounded by a magnificent ocean. Voyager 2's journey reminds us exploration is our destiny and the greatest discoveries still await. Voyager 2 continues its journey deeper into the galactic night. Its power will fade, its voice will fall silent, but its legacy will endure. It has redrawn our map of the solar system and given us our first taste of interstellar space. Its final whispers have been among its most profound. Voyager 2 is a symbol of our highest aspirations, a testament to curiosity and courage. Out there in the silent darkness, our tiny messenger continues its epic voyage. The universe is not empty or silent. We just need to listen. Voyager 2 has taught us that. Its echo will guide our search for answers long after its voice is gone. The story of Voyager 2 is the story of us, reaching, exploring and learning. The cosmos is vast, but so is our wonder. And as long as we listen, the journey will never truly end. Voyager's echo will inspire generations to come.